Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has directly imaged what may be plumes of water vapor on Jupiter's icy moon Europa. All right, the other day I told you guys that NASA had some fantastic surprise announcement about astonishing activity coming from Europa's moon. I was hoping aliens, but um, we got kind of new news. It's been rehashed. It's not really surprising. It's not really astonishing. It's that NASA's Hubble spots possible water plumes erupting on Jupiter's moon Europa. And the Hubble's been dancing around for like 20 years. What I'd like to see is some Juno photographs of Europa. I mean, that thing's got multiple camera. That thing's got multiple cameras and it can spin multiple ways, I would think. Our little new NASA Jedi Jupiter Juno. Come on, baby. Start to dazzle me. Because this video is not going to be long. There's a follow-up. Basically saying, oh, they might have possibly found water plumes at the Hubble. I'll read some stuff, though. Astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have imaged, or imagined, well, maybe water vapor plumes erupting off the surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. You know what would be great? If this single incident made plumes and hats come back in style for men and women. I think there'd be a little less fighting, a little less arguing, and a little less hate. If everybody had a feather in their cap. Go on, flash a little color. And not in a gang, crip, blood, red, blue kind of way. Which means the color's amazing. I'm Thor. We have a rainbow bridge that connects Valhalla to Earth. And, uh, so yeah, maybe this is going to be a great event. Maybe from now on, people are going to start having plumes in their hats. That's all we really need to know, you know? So that's great. Great news, people. The hate and anger is about to start stepping down. Thank you, new NASA. Well, I guess that's old NASA. It's still the Hubble. The finding bolsters other Hubble observations, suggesting the icy moon erupts with high altitude water suggesting the icy moon erupts with high altitude water vapor plumes. The observation increases the possibility that missions to Europa may be able to sample Europa's ocean without having to drill through miles of ice. Except for the fact that the monoliths before they ignited Jupiter warned us all these world years except for Europa do not try to land there. <sighs> but did all eight Terminator movies make us even think twice about being logical about fully autonomous robots and artificial intelligence? No. <sighs> when will we learn? Y'all, fugs, FUGS, didn't learn on Mars when the war mentality couldn't take its foot off the pedal. And boom, Mars popped like a grape in the Great War of the Gods. Little G. And we could repeat that here. It's like Ragnarok, man. I don't want to die killing a serpent. We've already done that. Can't we learn from the mistakes we already made and have a united Earth, united solar system, and really start to reach our potential? And we can stop wanking it over the International Space Station, and possibly we can all get our own spaceship soon. That would be wonderful. Anyway, the support's over. Europa might have plumes. Yeehaw! Go on, celebrate, people. God bless you. Talk to you guys soon. You can read the rest of the article. I'll put a link in the thingy. You know what to do. Send your first rodeo. Hasta la vista. Skynet. Nah, just kidding. Serious here to stay. I imagine so. She likes me. Apparently I've got a decent voice. And I say cool stuff from time to time. But that is neither here nor there. Because it's everywhere. Wait, then it is here and there. I should go now. Before I make your brain hurt. Peace out.